Hello, I'm Luis, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot SMTP connectivity or timeout issues with Amazon SES. Let's get started. Timeout connections typically means your client is unable to establish a TCP connection to the public Amazon SES SMTP endpoint. Before we start, it is important to note that Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud restricts egress traffic on port 25 for all EC2 instances by default. Therefore, if you're using an EC2 instance and your application requires traffic on SMTP port 25, then you can request to remove this restriction using the link on the screen. Having said this, we'll troubleshoot the application's TCP connection. Make sure that you're performing the following tests from the server or system that you want to connect to SES. First, open the terminal if you're using Linux or macOS, or if you're using Windows, open the command prompt. Then, run the appropriate command available for your operating system. Be sure to replace the original endpoint with the Amazon Simple Email Service endpoint that you are using. In this case, I'll be using the North Virginia endpoint, US East 1. For Linux or Mac, I'll be using Netcat. If the connection is successful, then the command returns an output similar to. Now, the same test, but using Telnet on a Windows system. If the connection is successful, then the command will return an output similar to. A timed out connection will return outputs similar to the following. If your connection times out, confirm that your security and network components, such as local firewall rules, routes, and network ACLs, allow traffic on the SMTP port that you're trying to connect. For example, if you are using an EC2 instance to send emails, then check the following. After logging in to the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Console. Then choose Instances and select the instance you're using. Additional information of your EC2 instance will show at the bottom of the dashboard. To verify the security groups, choose the Security tab and be sure that the Security Group Outbound rules allow traffic to the SMTP server on TCP port 25, 587, or 465. Edit the rule by clicking the security rule name if necessary. To verify the network ACL outbound rules, choose the networking tab and then choose the subnet name under subnet ID section. This takes you to the subnet details in the VPC dashboard. Select the subnet name that you just chose Choose the Network ACL tab and be sure that the Network ACL outbound rules allow traffic to the SMTP server on TCP port 25, 587 or 465. Additionally, confirm that the Network ACL inbound rules allow traffic from the SMTP server on TCP ports 1024 to 65535. If necessary, choose the network ACL name to edit the ACL rules. Be sure that your EC2 instance has internet connectivity provided by an internet gateway, net, proxy, and so on. If you still have connectivity timeout issues, even after troubleshooting the TCP connection, then the next step checks if there are any problems involving SSL or TLS. From the system you're using to connect to the Amazon SES SMTP endpoint, run the OpenSSL command, similar to the following, but replacing the original endpoint with the one that you're using. For a successful connection, 
The expected responses are SMTP220 and SMTP250, as you can see in my example. If you don't get the expected output, some issues or configurations in the local system might be preventing it from successfully establishing a secure connection to the SES endpoint. To solve the most common causes of this issue, be sure that your SSL or TLS certificate store on your local system is correctly configured. Be sure that your sending application has the correct path to the certificate. Be sure that Amazon SES certificate is installed on your server. To confirm that you have the correct certificates installed, see the About Certificates listed on the screen. Thanks for watching, and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.